I remember my first paycheck, 1,000 ringgit. My varsity mate came to see me and um, he was working for an insurance company and he told me to buy insurance. So I did. It lapsed after one year, he got his commission and that was the end of it. Later, uh, I applied for a Citibank card, a gold card. In those days, gold card was a big thing. And not too long after, um, a city banker came to see me. I was impressed, but now I know it's just good data mining. She sold me insurance. Yes, insurance again. This time it was a single premium. I paid $60,000 one time, and many years later, here I am, alive. After 15 years, I got back my 60000 plus 5000 extra. That was my second encounter with wealth management. People sold me whatever made money for them. They weren't thinking of me. My varsity mate is no longer my friend, and I never saw that city banker again after I gave her my $60,000 check. Preferred banking is founded on the sound advice of our dedicated relationship managers. Our preferred customers have assigned relationship managers and we sincerely and diligently equip our RMs with the knowledge to serve our customers. Stay in contact with our customers. Ask for advice. Ask our specialists to help you if you need help. Know what's happening in the market. Know what's happening on interest rates, currencies. Be proficient in the wide range of wealth products that caters to our savvy customers. Ensure that our customers have a portfolio of products and not just one or two products that you want to push. Help customers regularly review their portfolio for wealth growth and preservation. Customers deserve a well-designed and diversified portfolio in line with their risk appetite. A diversified portfolio helps a customer weather the ups and downs of an economic cycle. Customers need to regularly review their portfolios because markets and risk appetites change. Here are six stories for you to ponder. Uh, the first story, customer sold his property and had 10 million ringgit. Um, a diversified portfolio with a little bit of bond, unit, trust, structured product and cash was proposed. At the end of it, customer bought the whole 10 million in structured product. When the product went out of range, the customer had his capital tied for the remaining part of the tenure. If he had done the diversification, he would have been in the money. And the second story is about the customer who says she would be 100 years old when her product matures. The third story is from a customer's daughter. She said her mother is a retired teacher and very distressed because all her pension is tied up in structured products. What would you do if someone did this to your mother? And in the fourth one, the RM promised that the product will be auto-called and if not, he could get management to return the capital. And the fifth is about the RM who took verbal advice from his customers and signed the investment application forms on their behalf. This is forgery. Lastly, there were a lot of complaints about callbacks not properly done and they were rude. But when we listened to the conversation, we realised that many customers were not aware that callbacks would be done and that the products that they bought were not capital protected. There was even an RM who asked for a waiver of callback because he wanted to cover up the product mis-selling that he did. Our role is to provide advisory to our customers to help them grow and preserve their wealth. In return, we earn a commission for our services. It is our role to be knowledgeable, well-prepared and honest.